in this video I'm going to tell you about several perfect routes to take in Colombia. Do I do San Andres, Cartagena, Bogota, Medellin? How do I divide these days? How do I make the transition from one city to another? There are cities that are very far apart, so I'll explain everything here to clear your head and help you plan your perfect, inexpensive itinerary in Colombia with lots of good tips. So don't forget to give us a like guys, that thumbs up, it's super important for us, so don't forget to give us that like, subscribe to the channel and buckle up! Hey guys, for those who don't know me, I'm Gabriel Lorenzi, creator of the Grupo Dicas, the largest travel content network in the world. And today we're gonna talk about the itinerary, the perfect itineraries for Colombia so that you can adjust your itinerary and know exactly how many days to stay and which cities to visit. The first question that everybody has is which cities to visit in Colombia? By far, in my opinion and that of most people, the most touristy, cool, beautiful and cultural cities to visit are Cartagena de Indias and San Andres. They're the two coolest, but there's also another one that I like to include, which is Bogota. Bogota being one of Colombia's most important cities is very culturally rich and it's the gateway to the country. So probably 95% of people who travel there for tourism arrive in Bogota airport. So this logistics mean that many people include at least a couple of days in Bogota. But these are the three cities that in my opinion are unmissable and worth considering in your itinerary. They are very beautiful places and totally worth visiting, especially Bogota, San Andres, the cities that I mentioned it's worthwhile. How many days to stay in each city? In Bogota, I think two days is enough to get to know the historic part of the city and stay in the historic center, which is very cool. You get to know everything there, it's all very centralized, you can do an intense day touring the city. Then, after those two days, I'd head to Cartagena, you take a plane, it's an hour and a half flight, it's very quiet, it's cheap. A flight I was looking at just now from Bogota to Cartagena was $50, so it's not expensive. When you get to Cartagena, I think it's good to stay four days. If you have a very tight seven day itinerary, you can optimize it a little bit by staying fewer days. But for a seven day trip, I would recommend choosing two cities, either do Bogota and Cartagena or Bogota and San Andres, or if you can get a direct or fast connecting flight to Cartagena, just do Cartagena and San Andres because all three would be too much guys. If you have 10 days or more to spend on your trip, then you can consider all three cities that you have plenty of time. Cartagena has a lot of cool things, the walled city which is very cool, it's where they use it to protect themselves from pirate attacks, it's a very historic city, there are lots of cool things and the landscape is beautiful, the skyscrapers there, the skyline of the city is very cool, the walks, there are islands nearby so you get to know the Colombian Caribbean, there are beautiful islands for you to take a tour that lasts almost all day, so I think four days there would be very nice, two for the city, the beach and the other two for these islands, there's a very nice beach club there, the Bora Bora, which we really enjoyed, which is a very nice place to relax, to really feel the Caribbean, that Colombian heat. So that's four days that I think are more than enough for you to enjoy the place. And now talking about the economy, everyone, most people are very concerned about the value of things. Bogota is one of the cheapest, it's where you spend the least, there are plenty of options for accommodation and cheap food. Colombia in general is already cheap, I've just made a video on how much it costs to travel to Colombia. It's cheaper than Argentina, Chile, Uruguay, the prices there are very good, but there are some places that are a little more expensive. Cartagena is a little more expensive and San Andres is a little more expensive for accommodation, so if you want to adjust things to make your trip cheap, or not but all three are very good value for money and well worth it and if you're worried about saving money I'll leave a link here in the description of the video which takes you to a page we've set up with all the links and services so that you can organize your entire trip in the cheapest places saving a lot on everything these are the places we've discovered over the years the ones with the cheapest cell phone chip the ones that sell travel insurance for half the price of the agencies our hotels that we've stayed in good 
cheap hotels in the best locations already well located, the nicer hotels that are a bit more expensive, the tours website with all the tours, excursions, transfers from the airport to the hotel, everything you need to organize your entire trip at a great cost guys. And use the link guys, because the links on this page have discount coupons, so save it, take it to your computer later, sit back and relax, but use the link below because it has all the discounts included for you so you'll be able to save a lot on your trip and of course with the best services possible. And after 4 days in Cartagena, the flight from Bogota to Cartagena takes an hour and 20, an hour and a half, it's very easy to shop, there's plenty of choice. And from Cartagena, you're already on top of Colombia, you're going further up San Andres, a Colombian island that's a paradise, it's well worth a visit, the island isn't that big, I'd stay there. As you're already going there, it's logical that in 2 days there, you'll be able to enjoy it a lot, but as you're already taking the plane there, you're going to the hotel, carrying your suitcase, I think you should stay at least 4 days to get to know the island very well. If you can stay 5, 6, stay. It's a beautiful place, there's lots to do. But I think 4 days, it's really good for you to enjoy. So that would be 2 Bogota, 4 Cartagena and 4 San Andres. Ah, Gabriel, I'm staying for 12 days. Put one more destination in each that you think is more interesting. Look at the pictures, the places, because they're all nice to see. In San Andres, the beaches themselves are beautiful, so take a day to explore them. There are uh, mule rentals, which they call golf carts, which you can't rent because you can't rent a car there. So you can rent these on the tickets and excursions website, you can rent these trolleys if you want to do it in advance. Take a day, rent one and take a tour of the whole beach, getting to know the beach, the islands, getting to know all the beaches around it. There's a trip to Johnny K, which is a beautiful island, well worth a visit to the Aquarium Island, Aquarium Cave, which is very cool. These are tours you can go by boat, they pick you up, it's very cool, it's worth doing, it's an incredible experience. The sea there is one of the most beautiful in the world, it's very beautiful, you'll be impressed and it's warm, it's hot. A lot of people ask that, but is the water warm? Yes, you can rest assured that the water there is warm, it's very warm all year round, you'll be able to enjoy your trip very much because it's amazing. And then you come back from San Andres, you see the best route to take back to your city or to the country where you live. And in this video, I focused more on the itinerary. I'm going to do the next video now, which is all the tips on Colombia, the tips you shouldn't miss before you travel, what you need to get in, why you need expensive vaccinations, other documents, lots of cool stuff, when to go because the rainy season can ruin your trip. So watch all of Colombia tips now. Put it on YouTube and you'll find the video there it's very complete for you and that's it guys i hope you liked the video if you like it please don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to the channel because it really helps us a lot and don't forget to watch the other videos which are very good i'll leave two other very important ones for you to plan your trip to colombia here so thank you very much guys and have nice trips